What's up, everybody? Salt in the Strangles here. And today I wanted to go over cross training the good, the bad, and the ugly. Guys, I am a big proponent of cross training because I have made so many friends, I've learned so many new things, and my life has gotten exponentially better because of cross training. Um, when you're in a specific gym, for example, let's use my gym as, as, as an example. I trained under John Danaher and I wrestled for a great portion of my life. So my students have great leg locks, butterfly guard, body lock passing, um, sumigeishis, um, floating passing. We're very good at the style of, you know, that Henzo Gracie style. What we don't really do here, don't do that much close guard, kimura sweeps, um, our traditional style. We're not a very traditional school. So in order to get those looks, I invite people here. Let's do some close guard. Let's do some omoplatas. Let's do some of that traditional stuff that I don't really do that much, that my students don't really do that much. And it helps us grow. It helps them grow. It helps build a community. Um, Jiu-Jitsu is such a small community to begin with that why would you want to close it off more? And that brings me to my next point. Let's look at this from the point of a school that doesn't allow cross training. A couple of reasons they may not. You might have a lot of competitors, so you don't want people from the outside coming in and seeing those competitors' games, learning what they do, and maybe sharing it with people. Maybe one of your athletes is injured. Maybe you don't want people to know that he's injured. So those are some ways cross training could be detrimental. Um, if you are an instructor and you're insecure about your teaching skills and your skill as a whole, you probably don't want your students to go to other places and see, oh wait, they're better over here. Maybe I should sign up there. So if you're insecure as an instructor, maybe then you would say, oh, no cross training. And then there's a middle ground. There are, within jujitsu, we have affiliations. Um, Marcelo Garcia affiliation, Otto's affiliation, Henzo Gracie affiliation. Some instructors are okay with you training within your affiliation. So you could go to Henzo Gracie gym here, there, etc. But you can't go to an Otto's gym, whatnot. That I understand. Me, as an instructor, I let my guys go wherever they want, but I have one rule. You could cross train wherever you want, but you need to fight under my banner. So if you are a member at Immortals, you must fight under Immortals. So if you compete, it's gotta be under Immortals because I'm not gonna put my time, patience, and all that into someone that's just gonna go give the credit to someone else. Again, cross chain wherever you want, you fight under one banner. Some schools are okay with you fighting under two banners. I'm not because I put my heart and soul into this and all I ask in return is that you represent the school when you compete. Guys, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these types of videos, just talking to the camera, spitting some knowledge, giving some opinions. So if you liked what you watched today, share it with your friends and family, and let's get this channel popping.